In this video, I'm going to show you uh, something that I've been working on. It's uh, projecting shadows into a theatrical space. I've split this video up into two sections. Uh, the first section is for the more uh, technically minded, to show you the process of how I captured the image and how I'm shooting it back out. And the second section is for the theatrically minded, for those people who are interested in um, theatrical applications about this. Uh, I'm trying to spill up a project, and uh, this is sort of going to be uh, the basis of that project and, and the possibilities with which that project can happen. So I need to use this as sort of a portfolio or a foundation uh, for people to get an idea as to what I'm talking about, because the technology is a little confusing at times. So uh, you're definitely more than welcome to watch either, but the reason I'm splitting it up into two sections is for the theatrically minded not to get too bogged down with the technology and for the technology minded folk not to uh, I mean I guess not to get too uh, wrapped up in in the theatrics of it all uh, anyway now on to part one which is going to be me showing you exactly what I'm doing sort of uh, the idea is to take an image from a camcorder so recording a scene you take an image of a, of a silhouette and then you do some video editing and then project that silhouette out into space thereby uh, creating a shadow of that silhouette so it looks like a shadow is actually walking around on stage so what I did is I earlier today I took a tripod and I put it over there right next to my window and shot out the window into my backyard it's night now but uh, so I shot into my backyard and then I took some video editing software. I took that image and then I altered it into a grayscale. Uh, then I, I had to mess around with the gamma to make it more black white. And I played with the contrast and brightness. And the image that I ended up with is something more along the lines of, of this. Um, so this is, it's mostly a field of white, and as you can see, it's a silhouette of myself. The interesting thing about this is that it's capturing, uh, it's capturing an image, and it's rasterizing into 2D, and then what I do is I take this image, and then I split it up, I shoot it through a projector, and this is my, let's see, let me get a light. Okay, here's my setup. Here's my computer, and it's hooked up to my projector. And uh, the projector is held up by Sudoku, Rubik's Cube, and other geek things that I have lying around. Um, so the projector shoots out uh, onto my stage. And this is, you know, this is a uh, a box version of the stage. So the effect. Hold on. Is you got a silhouette. As you can see, there's a real figure right here. This is the the, uh, the foam core version that I just cut out. And then I have a, a virtual silhouette here of where my body was. Um, now, uh, during the film capture, I had to wear all white. I, had, <laughs> I actually put white socks on my hands, but you don't have white gloves. Uh, it was one of the... I'm sure my neighbors think I'm crazy, um, but yeah, I was dancing in my backyard just wearing all white because I knew that the highest contrast would be white uh, because my backyard right now it's just a bunch of dirt so the black wouldn't show up. Ideally, if I were doing this for a production, it would be with, uh, you can see right now the image is kind of grainy, uh, the feet aren't completely white, and then there's there's spots of... I'm sorry, the feet isn't completely da dark, which it should be if it were a true silhouette. And uh, the you can see there are patterns on my sleeve, which is actually because I'm where I was wearing this shirt with patterns. So the negative image brought up white. Uh, ideally, if this were in push into a professional production, um, the... Uh, the figure would stand in front of a green screen while they were being filmed so that there's no chance of, uh, of bleeding or so that we won't have to worry about any of this dustiness happening. 
Um, when I was filming, I put a sign on the ground. Uh, let's see here. This is the sign. And I put it at a right angle so that I could measure it up. So that later on, when I'm refocusing where the projector should sit, I know exactly where the sign... I, I know that if I make a right angle with that sign, uh, that the projector is in the correct orientation. Um, one of the interesting things is that, right, the, uh, we're going to go right here from on top of the projector. I'm going to get an image. Oh, the chairs. Oops, no. I'm going to get an image of what I got before, what I captured in the first place. Uh, I can show you that image uh, while I edit the photo. I mean, while I edit the video, I'll splice some of that image in to show you what I'm talking about. Um, and an interesting thing is that uh, any distortions that happen into the camcorder also get undistorted into the projector. Um, now one of the things this, is, this little model right here is misrepresenting is the fact that uh, the projector is so close to the surface that it's hitting and the surface is very very bright. Now I don't know of any professional projectors out there I mean, I guess I don't really know any of them at all, what their specs are, but I can't imagine that this is going to be able to theatrically let a stage this bright uh, from when you magnify the distance. Uh, so that's something I'm going to have to troubleshoot. I might have to just double up the projectors. I heard there's a theatrical trick where you put two projectors right on top of each other and match the image, uh, and thereby you, you sort of effectively double the lumens inside the projector. Uh, by having two of them shoot the exact same image. Um, and there are other possibilities, technically speaking, with regard to having two distinct projectors from two different locations. So I could have one here and then have one over here. And what I would do is feed this image, or feed this projector with this image. And then I would have to feed this projector with a different image that I could pick up with a different camcorder from the very beginning. The overall effect would be what actually would the overall effect would mirror what actually happens on stage. When you have a, I mean, I'll show you right now, I guess. If you were to actually have this on stage like this, uh, you get one shadow shooting off from one of the instruments, one of the theatrical instruments, the lights. And then one shadow shooting off from the other light. Uh, but if you have two different images shooting off two different shadows, it'll give a, for, for this thing right here, for this character right here on stage, and then for this virtual character right here that's sort of jumping around, uh, I think it'll make it clearer when the feet leave the ground, for example, or when, um, when interaction is supposed to happen between these two shadows, between the person standing right here. Uh, effectively what you're doing is you're creating a virtual person uh, only uh, by indirectly creating a shadow from two different angles and it creates uh, a distinct idea of a person. Check out the other video to see what is theatrically possible or what I have at least in mind with the theatrics of this idea.